What up YouTube, Gail yeah, Nats 101 coming at you again today. And right now I'm just gonna do a brief, brief video on this antenna that I've been using to catch a NOAA satellite images, NOAA 15, 18, and 19. Also Meteor M23 and some other stuff. If you don't know what software defined radio is, check it out. It's pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You can track a lot of things from the sky listen to all kinds of radio bands and stuff but I've had some questions on the, my V dipole antenna now when I got into this hobby I had an extreme difficult time getting getting a good uh, satellite image from the NOAA satellites so I done some research and I ended up buying a V dipole and it worked but it didn't work all that great I think a lot of it's location dependent but I've made some modifications boom the mighty V dipole. Now, without getting too technical about these antennas, the V dipole can be made for a certain frequency, depending on your element length. And you can see this one is for NOAA satellite RX antenna. It receives satellite signals from the NOAA satellites as they pass overhead. And there's who made the antenna. I actually bought this antenna off Amazon I give a $69 for it I think it was been the best investment ever but I was still having trouble getting signal so I added a reflector and my reflector is not fancy at all what I did was take a piece of wood I traced out this piece here cut it out and that's what gave me my exact angle for my elements they got to be a certain degree apart I can't remember what it is but it worked out this way I didn't have to do any math I just cut it out line it up with the edges and I had my right angle but look so what's going on here okay these top elements are 33 inches to the bottom from the ground and these the reflectors are 16 inches apart from the top of this to the bottom of that is 16 inches that's what worked for me it was I was figuring 36 inches off the ground let's try to figure out a good spacing to reflect the signal back up and what this does is it's something with the magnetics or whatever I may be getting it wrong but the way the signal bounces around these reflectors help collect it now without these reflectors my passes are decent but they're not good but with this reflector it's great now I'm not I'm not sure how far off the ground that bottom reflector is but what I was basing my signal on was distance between here and here and I had to come up with 16 inches and that worked great for me this one like I said is 33 inches from the ground and each element is a half inch copper tubing or copper pipe and they're 19 and 5 8 inches long each But that's basically it. I got my choke here. I can't remember the reason for that. It simulates four turns. Just a three quarter inch piece of PVC. Some cheap cable. You can see I've got it spliced into another cable here. That connection is uh, soldered and taped up and this is a really small cable really small and it's on I'm gonna say 45 feet of antenna to the radio 45 feet of cable to the antenna and I don't have any issues with it not I use a, a no elect smart T it works great you can see my location I've got trees all around but I have got a pretty good view of the south that's south down there I'm on a hill, so that helps. And there's a view to my north. 
that's it. It's the basic premises of it. You don't have to buy these. You can make these. It's pretty simple. There's lots of resources online, but they're 19 and 5 eighths each. Four of them. Uh, eight foot long piece of copper papa make your antenna as long as you get your degrees apart i can't remember what it was i've had this antenna so long and when i was doing it i was doing a bunch of research but that's it the images speak for themselves i may try to put some on in this video see ya